Welcome to the Exact Tools Pipe Cut and Bevel Pro Series instructional video. First, we will introduce you to the contents of the package. Blade adjusting key with some models. Saw with the metal cutting blade installed. Allen keys attached to the machine. Operating instructions. Pipe holders. In addition, the pipe cut and bevel will be delivered with cut and bevel diamond disc 165, cut and bevel diamond disc lower blade guard. Before operating the saw, we would like to make you familiar with the following parts. This is the motor part, and this is the gripping unit, connected together with the main shaft. Speed selector, use one or two setting depending on the pipe material. Check the operation of the lower blade guard. Check that the blade is in good condition and suitable for the material to be cut. Now we will show you how to change the used blade. First, remove the power plug from the socket. Remove the blade guard cover by opening the blade guard screw. Press spindle lock button and simultaneously rotate the blade by hand until the spindle lock button drops down and locks blade rotation. Open blade attachment. Because cut and bevel diamond disc creates great force, it could cause the cut to pull to the right. To compensate this, the motor part may need to be adjusted to the right. Before installing cut and bevel diamond disc, make sure that both blade flanges are clean. Press the spindle lock button and tighten the blade securing nut. If cut and bevel diamond disc is changed to any other type of blade, make sure to install regular lower blade cover back to the saw. Reattach the blade guard cover and tighten the blade cover bolt. Next, ensure that the gripping unit wheels rotate. Two ratchet wheels rotate only forwards. Ensure that the eccentric wheel rotates. If needed, lubricate eccentric and ratchet wheels. Ensure also the rotation of the support wheel. Now we will show what preparation is needed before we can start to cut. Always use proper personal protective equipment. Find a flat surface and use supports, rollers or wheels which came with the saw. This will ensure safe working conditions and optimum results. Place pipe supports so that the cutting point is between the two rows of rollers and both pipe ends are placed on supports. Or when cutting short and lightweight pipes, place the supports so that the cutting point is outside the wheel supports. Check that all support wheels are in contact with the pipe. Adjust supports if required. Before you start to cut, ensure that the pipe is empty. Next, we will show how to properly attach the saw on the pipe. First, ensure that the motor unit is not locked down. Next, open the gripper unit of the pipe saw enough to suit the diameter of the pipe by rotating the adjustment handle located at the rear of the saw. Then, position the pipe saw on top of the pipe and fasten the saw to the pipe by turning the gripper adjustment handle until the gripper is firmly attached to the pipe. Remember to lock the mechanism by turning the gripper locking collar. Ensure that the saw moves freely in the direction the pipe is fed. Before piercing the pipe, make sure of the following. Hold the saw handle firmly with your right hand and place your left foot on top of the pipe, approximately 50 centimeters from the pipe saw. Then start the motor. 
Wait until the blade reaches full speed. Pierce the pipe wall by pressing the saw or handle downwards slowly and evenly until the blade has cut through the pipe wall. At this stage, the pipe must not rotate and the motor unit has to be locked down in the cutting position. When the saw is locked in cutting position, the yellow mark on the unlock switch is not visible. Remember to keep an eye on the unlock switch during the piercing operation. Now you can safely continue with cutting. The pipe chamfer size is adjusted with the height of the motor part. For this purpose, the Pipe Cut and Bevel Pro Series saw is equipped with height adjustment. To prevent from chamfering too deep at the start, adjust the cutting height clearly higher than required by turning the height adjustment wheel counterclockwise. Such chamfer dimension adjustment on the pipe cut and bevel saw can be used with other pipes of the same dimensions without further adjustments. Continue to cut around the pipe by feeding the saw forward and simultaneously prevent the pipe from turning by keeping your left foot firmly on the pipe. As making cut and bevel requires a lot of power, pay attention to the traffic lights. Release the pipe by removing your left foot from the pipe and rotate the saw backwards for about one-sixth of a turn. The pipe will rotate backwards with the saw. Start a new feeding movement by putting your left foot again firmly on the pipe and continue feeding the saw forward. Repeat this process until the pipe has been cut through. When finished with cutting, push the unlock switch on top of the handle forward until the yellow mark is visible and the locking is released. Lift the motor unit to starting position and release the power switch. After the blade has stopped rotating, open the gripper locking collar and loosen the gripping unit by turning the adjustment handle. Lift the saw from the pipe and ensure that the moving lower blade guard is in down position. Precision of the cut is affected by many factors, the main being the gripping unit and motor unit alignment. First, we will show you how to check if the gripping unit is properly aligned. Attach the saw on the pipe, tighten the gripping unit, and lock with the gripping unit locking collar. Then, make a mark on the pipe at the laser line. Rotate the saw around the pipe a couple of times with the motor unit off and in the up position, blade not touching the pipe. Once having done that, see if the laser line and the original mark line up. In case the adjustment is needed, use the eccentric wheel. Adjust the wheel by releasing the locking screw and turning the central part of the wheel clockwise or anti-clockwise to obtain the desired position. If the saw is moving from right to left, turn the central part of the adjustment wheel so that the wheel becomes smaller. If the saw is moving from left to right, turn the central part of the adjustment wheel so that the wheel becomes larger. After the adjustment has been done, lock the first eccentric wheel and repeat the gripping unit alignment. Loosen the two locking screws. Then turn the motor part in the desired direction, depending on the following. If the cut is from left to right, turn or adjust the motor part to the right. If the cut is from right to left, turn or adjust the motor part to the left. Make only small adjustments, one at a time. Do not over adjust as the blade can be damaged due to misalignment. Once you are satisfied with the result or alignment, tighten the two locking screws. Use a feeding speed suitable for the material and thickness of the pipe wall. Pay attention to the traffic lights while cutting. Green equals go ahead, continue to saw. Flashing yellow equals slow down a bit. Your feeding speed is too high or the motor is getting warm. Flashing red equals motor is too hot. Cool down the motor. If the red light starts to flash, power is automatically decreased and cutting is not possible. In this case, release the motor unit lock and lift the motor unit to starting position. Let the motor run freely and make sure that the blade is not in contact with the pipe. Once the green light has switched on, you can continue cutting. If you are experiencing problems during cutting, abnormal sounds or vibrations, stop cutting and lift the motor unit to the starting position, inspecting the saw and the saw blade. Once the problem has been cleared, proceed with the cutting. Never start the motor while the motor unit is locked down in cutting position or if the saw blade is in contact with the pipe. Cutting plastic pipes with a smaller diameter is done in the same way as shown in our instructional video for steel pipes. In order to prevent plastic particles from flying around, Pipe Cut and Bevel Pro Series can be equipped with an optional vacuum cleaner connection. Thank you for choosing Pipe Cut and Bevel Pro Series Saw. And please remember, if anything unexpected comes up, please read the manual.